Hello, a car here, and I'm doing a video on uh, the tobacco hornworms. You've seen the Carolina Sphinx moths, the adults, and it's been about a week now or so. And the, the last of the adults have died off. Um, Carolina Sphinx moth you typically live about a week, and uh, and then they'll die once they've hatched from their cocoons. That is, or their chrysalis, really. And, um, I bred them. I had a male and a female. And, um, I'll show you under this leaf. And you might be able to see some of the babies that have hatched. I don't think there's any under this leaf. I just put these leaves in literally like, uh, five minutes ago. So the young have not yet crawled onto it. And you can see some of the young there. There's one there. And I just get, oh, and there's one on here. I don't know if you can see it with the light. But yeah, there's one there. So I just leave them on here. Put in fresh leaves each day. And then, um, they eat them up. And I'm going to raise them. These are tobacco hornworm babies. Uh, there are a lot of eggs in here. She laid about, I don't know, 20 to 50 eggs a day. And so some of them are smaller, some of them are larger. Some of them haven't hatched yet. Some of them were just laid yesterday because the last uh, adult just died yesterday, but not before laying some eggs. So, um, yeah. I know in the wild it's only about a 2% to 10% survival rate. And, um, <clears throat> excuse me. And, um, so, yeah, I'm gonna see how many I could get to survive. I don't know exactly how many eggs were laid, so I can't give, um, a, a definite, you know, percentage, but I can, you know, if I could get more than 10 to survive, then I'll be happy with that. If not, then, oh well, and I'm gonna continue to breed them, you know. You can inbreed the uh, hornworms or insects in general quite a few times before you get negative side effects. So I might do it once or twice inbreeding uh, for the next one or two generations. And then, um, you know, introduce a new, a new hornworm just to, uh, you know, prevent any uh, bad side effects. But yeah, I'll do that for a while. And when the female dies, I simply, you know, take their bodies and, um, I just throw it in here to decompose. There's one of them over there. One of the bodies.